Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. Today I thought I would do a fun little kind of like life update, Q&A, catch up, sesh. I'm about to make some lunch. We actually have to leave in like 45 minutes. So I just thought I would, you know, catch up with you a little bit. So I'm gonna grab my ingredients. I'm basically gonna be making what they're calling on TikTok a girl lunch, which is like a bunch of like snacky ingredients that people put together and they call it like a girl lunch or a girl dinner or whatever. And it's just like basically a snack plate, which is my favorite thing. I love a freaking avocado and rice cake. I've talked about it before. So I'm gonna do avocado and rice cake. I'm gonna do some cucumber, some cheese, some cashews. That's like my favorite little bite. Some ants on a log maybe. Just feeling inspired. Also, sorry if you can hear the construction in the background. There's like laundry happening. There's a lot. We'll do some turkey. My favorite cheese in the entire world. I'm obsessed with it. And then we'll do some fruit on the side once we're done. That's very loud. Just you. I swear I like moved to the noisiest quiet neighborhood ever like you don't hear People blaring music or people screaming or having parties or anything like that But you do hear just like trash trucks all day long cars driving by Anyways, you win some you lose some so yeah, I first want to say that I Appreciate all of the responses and all of your amazing comments and messages and everything to my last vlog so much like Oh my gosh, I could not have expected that overwhelming response. The video's only been up for like three, four hours and I've already cried like twice. So I just appreciate you all so much. This celery is a little, little bendy than I would like. I guess it's kind of all like that. Okay, whatever, we'll deal with it. So yeah, if you took the time to leave a comment and just say the most nice, encouraging, comforting words to me, just know that I appreciate you so much. It was really, really sweet. Okay, let me rinse off these vegetables real quick. You might see Drew in the background because he's making his lunch as well, but um, yeah, the most commonly asked question I would say, or one of the top questions was, what have you been up to? Like, what did you get up to on your break? How have you been? Which is so nice. And I'm doing really well. I'm doing really well. I would say that I'm arguably like the best I've ever been. I'm really, really happy. Okay, now we have to go back. But yeah, I've been, um, let's see, trying to take hot girl walks as much as I can, although it has been getting really hot in LA, which is not ideal timing because we are going to Disneyland next week with Drew's family, so yikes. But that is okay, we will survive. Um, and what else? We went to Palm Springs. Me, my mom, Drew, and Layla took a nice little Palm Springs getaway. It was extremely hot, it was like 115 degrees. But we just wanted to like float in the pool. We did a little bit of thrifting. We went to different coffee shops. I also forgot a cutting board, so I'm just using this paper towel, <laughs> whatever. It was great. So that was a nice needed getaway. And it was kind of like halfway between Arizona and here. So my mom just drove out there and met us. I've just been trying to, you know, stay on top of my work deadlines, be a decent friend to people, text back, you know. <laughs> questionable okay there we go you know things like that so yeah i've overall been doing really well thank you so much for asking and i'm just very happy to be back right Ooh. i guess that brings us to our next question which is how have the pets been doing and lewis currently sitting here staring at me we do actually have to bring him to the vet that's where we're going in like 45 minutes he had a little bit of a episode last night he has bowel disease and it gives him a lot of stomach issues. And last night, I'll spare the details, but it was like the exorcist. Like there was just so much vomit. He threw up on Drew in our sleep. Like it was a whole thing. Anyway, so it was fun changing our sheets at like one in the morning and then he did it again. And yeah, it was just, it was a lot. But we survived, didn't we? Yeah, so he's gonna go to the vet just to get like, you know, a sort of double checkup because he's on like a pretty rigorous medication schedule especially with us being out of town next week he's gonna be fine it's just kind of what goes along with his disease unfortunately and then Layla's doing good I mean as good as possible we did notice that on the trip to Palm Springs it's just really really hard for her to like leave the house and go places these days it's kind of like she's just become you know it's just harder with her with her mobility issues with her age with her health etc it's just harder for her to get around and we actually took her to the vet yesterday which is great and i mean something that no one prepared me for was that like when your pets get older you live at the vet like you i mean at least we do and luckily our vet is like 15 minutes away so it's really convenient to just be able to like zip over there after work on a weekday or whatever but yeah i mean it was 
it's been a it's been a week that's for sure <laughs> but yeah they're doing as well as could be you know at their current age and health and all that stuff but it's really hard i'm not gonna lie like it's really really hard watching them get older and something that i never thought about when i got a puppy when i was you know 23 years old was that i would be 25 and caring for a senior animal i know i've talked about this so i won't blab for too long but yeah it's it's got its challenges for sure and it's just really tough to watch them you know not be themselves anymore so we're just doing our best we're just trying to chug along so i got my avocado rice cakes i swear to god I, it's not like a trying to cut calories thing or whatever i just genuinely love rice cakes so much drew is into them now too it's just the best it's just like the crunch i don't know what it is anyways okay next question i got one that says how is your tummy feeling these days one that said did your SIBO diagnosis have anything to do with your break from vlogging a lot of questions about like a health update so i guess the last vlog before i took my break that i posted was actually me going to the doctor <laughs> trying to figure out what the hell is going on with my stomach and then I just sort of left you hanging so I'm not going to go into full detail about like all of my health stuff because I think one thing that I learned throughout that process was to just really keep some things to myself because even though people have like the best of intentions it started like getting to me and I really truly believed that I had gallbladder disease and that I was going to have to get my gallbladder out and that I was going to have to live the rest of my life without a gallbladder and have all these issues and blah 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 and my gallbladder is completely fine so I did have a um, ultrasound, blood work. I took a SIBO test twice because the first one, it's a long story. The first one was, I did it wrong. <laughs> SIBO is, for those of you that don't know, it stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And a lot of you recommended Abby Sharp's videos for me, um, which were helpful. And it just helped prepare me better mentally and stuff. So that was really nice. So I, the test came back and my doctor said, you are very positive. And I was like, oh, okay. So basically what that means is there's an overgrowth of bacteria in your small intestines. It has to do with like digestion and all that kind of stuff. And it causes like swelling in the belly. So a lot of people have commented on my stomach over the years and said that I look pregnant. And um, I think that's part of why that's like one of the main symptoms or it can be. So that's like a huge thing. And basically the way it's managed is through medication and diet. So I did do a round of antibiotics and I also have to do another round because it didn't really work that well. And then um, also there's like a natural remedy. I have like the supplement over there that I'll start taking like after I'm done with my second course of antibiotics. Thank you. Do you want to say hi? Don't look at my hair. <laughs> By the way. Hi. My hair is crazy. What's that? Oh, um, look at it. Your hair is fine. Anyway, he's still here. Don't worry. I'm not gone. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, anyway, there's there's just a lot. But um, yeah, so I do have SIBO and that's been a thing to deal with and it's just annoying. And then I did find out there's like some other health stuff going on. So yeah, there's just, there's much to be said, but I'm doing okay. My stomach is um, like eternally fucked up. So <laughs> that's just part of my life. I saw like a meme and it said, either you're like a headache girly or a tummy ache girly. And I am definitely a tummy ache girly and Drew is a headache girly. So we're a good blend, but yeah, doing okay. Just, you know, kind of wish that things were getting a little bit better. SIBO is sort of something that you just have to work to maintain for a long time. There's like supplements you can take, but it's mostly through diet, eating like low FODMAP foods, etc. I freaking love ants on a log. Like I will never grow too old for that. What is your favorite way to practice self-care lately? That's such a nice question. I would say I've been trying to eat more nourishing foods. Um, I am just like a fast food girl. That's how I grew up. It's like what I ate most meals for dinner. <laughs> and a lot of you actually <laughs> had a lot to say about the junk food I was eating in grocery hauls and stuff like that. But um, I've just been trying to eat more nourishing foods in addition to the foods that I really enjoy, of course. I've been trying to exercise more, like get back into exercise. Another question was like, how's your joyful movement journey going? It's going. I mean, I feel like it's an up and down thing as usual. It's kind of one of those things where it's like I get really into it for a while and then I get out of it and blah blah blah. But Drew and I do take long walks every single weekend. I just simply, this paper towel is dirty and it needs to go. Sorry. Gotta clean off my knife. Yeah, Drew and I are really like into walking on the weekends, which is great. We take like super long walks. We walk to the park. We walk to get coffee. It's like one of my favorite things about the weekends. We start like every single weekend morning pretty much like that. So that's been good. Lots of walking. 
I've been doing occasional little like video workouts like Grow With Joe. I love pony sweat always, like things like that. I pre-wash these strawberries by the way. And those are kind of like the basics that I've been working on. It's just taking care of myself like physically before anything else. So it's kind of up and down. Um, okay, let's do a few quick fire questions. How are you feeling about Taylor Swift post Maddie? I don't, I don't want to upset the Swifties with this, but it's been a, it's been a cruel summer, if you will. I'm looking at Drew because he goes. <laughs> I was not happy. I was not pleased, and this is coming from like a former 1975 fan. I don't want to get into the whole thing, but I did not realize like how horrendous a lot of his behavior was, and I was just so upset. And I was just a Joe Allen girly. I just loved them together. But I think I realized that I actually loved her when she was with him. Anyway, it's been rough. Like I really, it really took a lot of the joy out of being a fan and I was really super disappointed. Um, I still love Taylor, obviously. I will still be going. That's another question that I got. Uh, do I have tickets to any of the LA Eras tour shows? And yes, I do have tickets to, I think like the second or third show. Um, and I got those like on the first day. And then another question was, are you seeing Taylor internationally? Like, are you gonna go to any international Eras tour dates and I did sign up but I did not get selected so that was unfortunate so no unless I can get them like second hand or something but that's probably not gonna happen my spicy water of the day is going to be Waterloo watermelon this is like a tried and true fave listen to this crunch it's just so good have you done any new updates to apartment decor um not really oh I guess right here I think I showed this in an Instagram real i keep i'm like instagram short youtube tiktok like i don't know any of the names um we got these three little ceramic vintage pieces those are really cute um oh they fixed our entire kitchen so all of this had been completely rotted from the rain back through like january through like may and they fixed the leak but they wanted to wait for it to rain a few more times to see if there was going to be any more damage and there was like brown and yellow spots up there it was literally crazy um so they had to rip out this entire cabinet unit i left that open they had to rip this entire thing out build a new one they were able to reuse the doors um this entire thing was basically ripped out they had to replaster repaint they came back two more times our entire kitchen was torn up i think i have some video of it because it was shocking i was like oh my god so that got fixed um what else what else is new i added a rug here in my filming area that stuff for a brand deal that's coming up on the chair. I got a new clothing rack because I just wanted it to be more categorized. I got this pretty print, this fruit ceramic art print thingy. Um, Alexa and I actually got matching ones. So that's really cute. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, we did finally hang, I think I showed this in a vlog that we did finally hang this piece of art which is really cool and there's Moo. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty much all the updates I can think of. I'm sure you'll see more like as time goes on. Okay, what's next? Any recent British crime show recommendations? Also, hope you're having a good day. That is so nice. I hope you're having a good day too. Um, what are some British crime shows we've watched recently? I mean, the new seasons of Unforgotten and Happy Valley, which are our like pretty much top two British crime shows ever came out. There was a brand new season of Unforgotten. We watched that one first. It was... <laughs> Honestly, it was good. Like, I, it's still my favorite show, and I still love the characters, but the main character wasn't in it, and that was just devastating. But it was still good. I just wasn't, like, super happy with the ending. But, I mean, whatever. And then Happy Valley. Oh, my God. Happy Valley probably is my number one, I would say, of, like, favorite British crime shows. So, we didn't get to see the new season until, like, months after it came out in the UK. So, that was nice. We finished that, and we had to watch one every week. Like, that's the only way it was released. So, that was, like, a killer. Absolutely. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for the British crime shows lately, I think. I don't think we've watched any other ones, but we also did finish Ted Lasso. <laughs> oh, it was literally, like, one of the best shows of all time. So good. What else have we watched? We watched Silo on Apple TV. That was okay. It was interesting at first and then it kind of was like slow, but it was still good. We watched Shrinking on Apple TV. That was so good. Like I love Shrinking, highly recommend. And then of course we're watching Love Island every day, which you will see in future vlogs for sure. A couple questions about like our living situation. So like, are you happy that you moved back to LA? Are you still enjoying Los Angeles? You and Drew have been in LA for a year now. Do you see yourselves staying or relocating, etc.? I'm gonna put you back down and have a bite of my lunch. Um, yeah, so we actually did renew our lease for this apartment. It was up at the end of May, so we renewed for another year. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. Literally, like my favorite thing, I went to a dinner party at my friend Kara's house. 
and she had cucumbers, cheese, and cashews. And like it seems like, I don't know, it's not a weird combo, but just not something I would have ever tried. Like all three together. And now it's like my favorite combination. So good. It's really good with radishes too. So yeah, we have it really good with this apartment. Like we really have no complaints. All of our neighbors are amazing like in this building. We even had like some drama with the building behind us. There were these people that were living there. I think I like mentioned it in a vlogmas video. We had to call the cops on them because they left a dog out on the balcony for like, anyway, it's a whole thing. They ended up getting evicted so they're gone and or, or they moved out, I'm not sure. And there are like some TikTok kids. I'm pretty sure they're from TikTok. They're all like 18 year olds. They live next door and they all drive really, really loud cars. So you can hear them turn on and then they take off down the street like they're literally drag racing. Um, but like literally other than that, I mean, no complaints at all. So we're really lucky and we love this apartment. Like it really does feel like home now. Unfortunately though, our landlord is gonna be raising our rent. <sighs> so I do think this is like, we're at the tippy top of our budget with this one. So I think we're gonna have to move come next May, which is like devastating. But yeah, we're still, as far as I know, I mean, we're staying in LA for the foreseeable. A lot can change in a year, but we're really, really happy here right now. I know I said I was gonna do quick fire and then I didn't, but let's do it. Okay, have you tried the hearts of palm with mustard trend? I actually did just because I was curious. It just wasn't for me. I didn't like, I don't know, it just tasted like mustard. Um, Not my fave. I just also didn't particularly love hearts of palm. Like I didn't think they were that good, but like, yeah, no, no shade, just wasn't for me. Is there something random you're afraid of slash don't like? Um, I think the weirdest like phobia that I have, and it's not even a phobia because I'm like obsessed with watching videos of it, but I just like clench <laughs> the entire time and that's orcas. I have always had this thing with orcas where they just genuinely terrify me. And I mean, lately, they're taking ownership of the ocean back. If you've seen all the stuff about orcas lately, kind of crazy. So I would say like, yeah, just deep sea stuff, like deep water. When everything was happening with the ti Titan submersible and all that, which was a crazy time to be on the internet. Um, when all of that was going on, I was even realizing seeing some of the footage of that was freaking me out. Just yeah, deep water and like cr creatures and stuff really scare me. All right, let's do a couple more. Do you have any trips planned for the second half of the year? Possibly, Alexa and I were texting last night. So if you know, you know, but um, that's potentially happening. It, it just all depends on like animals and life and where we're at and all that kind of stuff. Mm. One of the more like popular ones was what are my thoughts on Speak Now, Taylor's version. I mean, I cried, obviously. That album, like, I think it's so cool because number one, I think today they released that it was like the number one, it was like the biggest streaming day in Spotify history, which is crazy. I'm like, what, a year and a half, two years older than Taylor? So I was like 20 to 22 when that album came out. And it's just so cool because so many people from so many different walks of life and different ages and stuff have so much nostalgia attached to that album and just her old albums in general. So like some people were kids and they grew up listening to that. It was like the soundtrack of their childhood. For me, it was like the things that she was singing about was like what I was going through and was like so relatable and I just like loved it. I think I saw a few questions along the line of like, what's my favorite vault track? It's, I can see you, obviously. Oh my God, I can't believe she held that from us for that long. You didn't answer my question. I didn't answer your question. Yeah. What color is your toothbrush? I remember someone asking yes. that a long time ago. Our, our toothbrushes are next to each other. I don't know what color it is. Purple. Okay, thank you. Anyway, I'm blabbing. I'm gonna finally eat this so I'm not eating on camera, but yeah, I never even showed the finished girl lunch, but here it is. We have our strawberries, turkey, cucumber, cheese, cashews, avocado rice cakes, and ants on a log and spicy water. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed. Sometimes like when I do things, it's very chaotic because I have ADHD and then it like drives people insane. So sorry if I did any of that, but thanks for sending your questions. If I didn't get to it, I'll try to get to it in the next one. The next vlog I think will be kind of like a reset vlog because we're about to go to Disneyland for like four days with Drew's family. So that'll be really fun. So when we get back, we'll catch up, reset, and then just get back into this regular swing of things. So we will see you very soon in another vlog.